another night at Karanda, and another cracking adventure. Where have we got oh, yeah. it? Oh, what a beauty. Yeah. Don't. Sorry. So here's a huntsman that's been nicknamed the Sunburst Huntsman. Undescribed species, in fact undescribed genus as well. This is a female nymph of Segestidia, the giant palm katydid, and as you'd be able to guess from the name, these katydids are found in close association with palm, which is pretty much the only thing they feed on. They're also among the largest katydids in Australia. And this is the first one I've ever seen. This species is parthenogenic, which means that females can reproduce without males. In fact, males of this species are incredibly rare, and have only been encountered an extremely limited number of times. Very sizable orb weaver currently in the process of spinning her web. So these spiders, unlike for example golden orb weavers or tent spiders, tend to take down their webs during the day and spin a new one every night. Quite the laborious task, but these spiders seem to be able to carry on just fine. Um, I'm sure Buck has got it on his website. Oh, I don't know if I've got enough, uh, enough reception. Oh, there's our free yeah. fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no Lepidoptera expert, so no clue what this is. So feel free to suggest identifications in the comments. So yeah, another, another palm Katie did here. Wait a second, is this... It's a male. It's a male. It's, I think it's a male. It doesn't have an ovipositor. I don't, I don't see yeah. an ovipositor and the wings are quite close to being developed. Yeah, it's quite large, no ovipositor. That okay, so, is a male. Oh my god. Are we not expecting that? No. no, male, no. Males of these are really rare. Uh, this is going to have kittens. <laughs> Heteropoda preying on what appears to be an Ostrocelomona species. This big fellow is Penalva flava calciata, the white kneed king cricket. Not actually a true cricket, more closely related to katydids. Incredibly impressive animal either way. They belong to a family known as the Anostostomatidae, which is separate to the true crickets, which belong to the Grylidae. And I'm going to stop wasting all your time now, so yeah, go ahead, guys. Quite a long way up, so apologies for the grainy footage, but this again appears to be that undescribed sunburst huntsman. Little Gastrocantha quadrispinosa caught herself a bit of a meal. Seems to be the night for palm katydids, because here's another one staring straight at me. This one, uh, yeah, this one appears to be another female. Can't say I'm expecting to see many more males. That one was really quite the anomaly. Okay, you freak the spinosa here. Little millipede here, another one of the red ones. Another Penalva flavicalciata. Yeah. Another Penalva flavicalciata here. Um, my name's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you too. It's fine. I've totally ruined your video. <laughs> no, it's fine. A little bit of humour. What a beauty. Another palm Katie did. This one is very, very young. I haven't found a single adult yet on this trip, but the adults are more of a brownish colour as opposed to the fairly off-white displayed by the juveniles. Rather attractively patterned heteropoda. Alright, northern leaf tail gecko supposedly. Can't say I'm an expert on these. Great eyes, Jesse. But very light. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a Yeah. Just gonna Good pull my. Right there. Gonna pull my hand there for a Sorry. There's my hand for a bit of a size comparison. Certainly uh, a little bit more unique than the geckos you typically find in your house. Another female Penalva flavocalciata here. Such impressive insects. Let me just pull my. I'll see if I put my hand next to it for some scale. 
I'm a bit apprehensive to approach it really closely because they can jump extremely far. So if I disturb it too much, well, she'll be gone in an instant. Now, unlike some other close relatives like Anostostoma australasiae, these seem to be at least predominantly herbivorous and feed mostly on fallen fruit and an assortment of other plant matter. Another palm katie did. And again, it's a female. You can see that ovipositor beginning to develop there. And even as nymphs, these are, hey, these are pretty yeah, sizable yeah. katydids. Hey, look, look. Uh, we've still got them. I mean, yeah. up, <laughs> up there, somewhere, well, there's its shadow. Um, ah, yes, up there, adult female Nephilopilipes, Australia's largest orb weaving spider. Yeah, wow. That is amazing. We had one like that across our front door at the top of our steps. Oh, oh that, that'd be fun. Security. Henderson style. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice big one. Um, but the one she'll fatten up, her abdomen will get much larger than that. It's so. killing me not being able to see it any closer. Well, if she's seen, there might be others around. Adult masticopoid oh, is. It's a male! Oh, oh yeah. First male of the trip. Oh, thank God. Another millipede. I don't know how valuable it is. <laughs> I was trying to sound cool, but nope. No, it's. I've seen, I think, three. Oh, sorry. That, that's all right. Sorry, I forgot I was the only one holding the line. <laughs> seen about three of these red millipedes so far. Really cool. Some sort of a lapid, so I'm uh, keeping my distance here. But seems to be pretty inoffensive. Little scorpion, genus Lycas. Scorpions seem to be running around everywhere here. If there's one way to look for scorpions, it's using UV light and using a camera that isn't as crap as this. Just kidding. Oh, there's two. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, alright. <laughs> This little guy here is doing a very good job at hiding itself. Another one of these red millipedes. They really appear to be arboreal. Every single one of them I've found has been on a tree trunk. Quite similar to the Australocrichus perditis we have down in Brisbane, but Red coloration is quite a bit more intense. I didn't learn the identity of this katydid till after the fact. But anyway, this is Emerald Grecia mangarefrons, the pink jawed katydid. And in spite of its rather small size and honestly pretty cute appearance, this is actually a voracious predator. And those pink jaws may be pretty, but they're going to make an absolute mess of anything the insect gets a hold on. It's a, it's a not cricket, not a grasshopper. It's, you're, what am I even Grilla saying? Critted. Yeah, Grilla, yeah, family Grilla Critidae. Also known as an angry bastard. This is Epipitatha Caranda, which is of course named after, well, the local area. Same genus as Epipitatha trigentidorigatata, which I have featured on this channel before. But the wing shape is slightly different, the spots aren't as pronounced, and the size is overall a little bit smaller. It, it doesn't match the type specimen, so it's probably a new, an undescribed species. So. This is what they currently call Parasitesia serrata, but it apparently doesn't match the type specimen, so yeah, might be an undescribed species. So it looks like a prism slug at the back end of a leaf hopper. Now leaf hoppers do sometimes produce sugars or sugary fluid, I believe, and some insects do like to come up and drink that, but I've never heard of slugs doing it. 
you may not realize this at first glance, but this is actually a type of huntsman. It's from the genus Selictocopus, which is predominantly an Asian genus. However, they do range into the northern parts of Australia. Exactly which species this is, I unfortunately cannot say. Either way, I'm pretty confident on the genus. That's it for this video. A bit shorter than normal, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. And there is still one more day's worth of footage from Karanda to go, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoy my content, then feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other uploads, and let me know what you thought in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching, that is it from me, and I shall see you again very soon.